Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Ocean by Aesthetica in the color R302826. So let's get started. I am not gonna tell you anything you don't already know and love about Ocean. I have yet to see a person who doesn't like Ocean. This is a long-ish layered, um, like air dried or you just walked out of the ocean and let your hair <laughs> air dry <laughs> is what this wig reminds me of. Or it reminds me of a celebrity that has spent a ton of money and a lot of hours to get their hair to look like they didn't spend any time on it. I love this wig. I feel very at home in this wig. I wore it to a family gathering the other day and Justin told me that hair just looks like you. And I got so many compliments at the family gathering and everybody knows that I wear wigs. It's not a, a weird topic to talk about my hair. Everybody loved it. I mean, it just looks so natural. It's natural density. Ocean's a good one. The cap on Ocean. This has a lace front and it's a deep lace front. It's, it doesn't have a monofilament part or monofilament top, but it has, Aesthetica likes to do this to their wigs. And the smart thing about that is it keeps the price point reasonable because as soon as somebody slaps a mono part or a mono top, that price goes up. By just giving us a deep lace front, it goes back to about here, that gives you some parting options if you want it in the middle or whatever side you want to part it on because this is what everybody sees nobody's studying the top of your head unless you're a shorty or you do a lot of sit down work where people stand over you i don't do that so i don't care the ear tabs are the typical aesthetica ear tabs they're open they're not covered metal stays good coverage the open extended nape aesthetica uses those hook closures i don't like that i mean Aesthetica is one of my top two favorite wigs, so obviously it doesn't bother me that much because I keep buying the wigs. These caps are average size. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. Very comfortable. Don't have a wig grip on. I rarely wear a wig grip with Aesthetica wigs in my everyday life. Now, if we're going out, you know, like to that family gathering where I wore this wig, I wore a wig grip. Basically, if I don't really have control over my environment, what we're gonna be doing, or if there's kids and I wanna be playing and up and down, you know, if I just am not sure on my environment, I put a wig grip on. And then that way, I just don't have to worry about it. In my everyday life, when I'm just running errands and I, you know, I'm probably going to be by myself or with my husband. I don't worry about a wig grip. Let's talk about the measurements on Ocean. The bang is listed at 11 inches. It says the crown is 13, the sides are 10 and a half, and then the nape is 11. I always love it when it, you get the sides and then the nape or the back is longer because it just gives you that really pretty shape that I love, that kind of V taper. It's so pretty. This is gonna be one of those reviews where I just don't have a negative thing to say about this wig. I mean, it is just an everybody, everyday wig. The color I chose is R302826. Once again, it's the only Aesthetica color that I wear. You guys are probably getting sick of me saying that. I'm getting a little sick of me saying that. I should probably try a different color. I know they have a brighter red. I just get so nervous to try a different color because I know I love this color and I just don't wanna mess it up. I don't, anytime I see somebody in those brighter Irish reds, I love it and they look so good on everybody and I think, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna buy that wig and then I get it and I'm like, never gonna wear this. It's too much, it's too bright, it's too bold, it's too dark. I have all these reasons. This is my perfect color. This one and John Renault's 27MB and then 
Most recently, I just learned Tony of Beverly's Sangria. It's just that light orangey red all over color. Now Raquel Welch, I have four colors that I love with Raquel Welch, but Raquel Welch's are very uh, blended. I don't know if blended is the right word. You can see all the highlighting and all the different colors where this, even though it's 30, 28, 26, so it's their medium red, light red, and golden blonde, there's three colors in here. It just gives you that overall look. You don't see three different colors. You see a light orangey red hair color. The hair fibers and permatease on Ocean. In typical Aesthetica hair fiber fashion, these hair fibers are kind of on the drier side. It's light. This wig actually is very light. The density I feel like is very natural. I like how it just kind of falls apart at the end because of how the layering is done. It doesn't have a ton of well, there's permatease. There's permatease there, there. Yeah, I mean, there's permatease all over it. Doesn't feel like a permatease wig. And I don't think it looks like a permatease wig. You can see permatease up there. I don't worry about that. Aesthetica has a lot of styles that have that. And unfortunately, you know, that's kind of the trade-off. You get a, a wig like this. <sighs> If they start throwing all those monofilament features up there, we're all gonna be paying a lot more for that. I'm okay with that. McKinsey's like this, Finn is like this. Some of my favorite Aesthetica wigs are like this. I like the deep lace front, gives you some parting options, keeps the price point down. There is permatease all over it. Maybe to get this realistic looking density, they needed that filler to cover the wefts. You guys can let me know down in the comments what you think about that. Sometimes I I don't mind permatease. I like permatease actually. Permatease allows me to warm my hands up and either have a super flat, you can really flatten all that down and flatten that permatease down, or you can get in there and puff that permatease up and get some volume. So I like permatease, and especially on long wigs. I don't know if it's the shape of my face or body or just overall look, but if I get a wig that has no permatease, I mean, even um, Blaze, as much as I adore Blaze, <sighs> Blaze could use a little permatease in my opinion. It is so flat. I need some volume up here. I think that is kind of my, face and an overall shape. I don't want all the weight of the hair to be down here. I appreciate that permatease. Give it some lift. Also, when I first got Ocean, it really wants to drape in your face and I really thought I was gonna get a steamer involved, but I'm kind of warming up to it. It will respond to me just kind of lightly doing that kind of thing, but it will fall back down. I haven't put any product in Ocean and I probably won't because I just like this very natural kind of messier the better look. I don't think I'm gonna steam it. I don't think I'm gonna force it to be up off my face. Every once in a while I can do this. I have worn Ocean with just the top up, like pulled back like that and it's super cute. Okay guys, so I've talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and the permatease and hair fibers. My overall thoughts about Ocean is it's a keeper. I love it. It is an everyday wig, a casual wig, a workhorse wig. Now, it is longer than what I would typically call a workhorse wig. But I think because of the density and that the bulk of the wig isn't around the base of it, it makes it more comfortable. It, it's just very light down there. And because of the shape of it, it's longer in back and shorter on the sides. You can put it you know, behind your shoulders and go about your day. And it, I don't know, it doesn't seem, it's not fussy to me. When, if you dirty this wig up and it maybe gets a little clumpy, it just gets prettier. There's something about these hair fibers and that just kind of very gentle, lazy wave that if they clump a little bit or if it gets a little dirty, it just gets cuter. Okay, so this has been Ocean by Aesthetica in the color R302826. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat in the comments. I would love to know what you think about Ocean, if you have Ocean, what color do you have it in, how is it wearing and washing, and just tell us all about it. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Okay, I'll see you on my next video.